hey 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 my pretty ladies and gentlemen welcome back to my channel if you don't know who i am i'm silky if you do thanks for returning now don't forget to like comment subscribe with that notification bell so anytime i do a new upload you will be the first person to know now you already see why we're here in that thumbnail and in the description below yes y'all asked me for wine and i gave it to you sis i gave it to you i hope you really enjoy me giving it to you now if you want to see how this product work on my skin tone and on my skin type all you have to do is keep on watching let's get straight into this video hey, my pretty ladies and gentlemen you already see why we're here yes girl i got you we are here with the wine yes this is the the wine palette this is the glam light palette again it did come with four palettes I already did Three? I already did three of them, you guys. No, I did two. This is the third one. I got one more to go, which is the chocolate martini, I believe. But yes, girl, I got you. It's right here, boo. I heard you. I had to wear this hair. I feel like I was going to go to like a winery. I got my long flowy dress on. We are here today. So let's just cut out all the talking because we got a winery to get to and get into this palette. All right, so you guys already know how it opens. I did show you my first video with... The Dirty Martini, I did go through all of them and show you guys how they open things like that. So now let's just go ahead and get right into some swatches. So I am going to go ahead and put this back there for you guys so it can just look, you know, that's what we're doing. Facts, you know. Okay, so it has 10 mattes and 5 shimmers. They're very creamy. The mattes are, they have fallout but not as much, but they're very beautiful. Okay, you guys, so let's go ahead and get straight into this eyeshadow look. I'm going to go on my P. Louise base. It's Rumor 03. I'm going to put that all over the lid. You guys already know I like to go in with my M173 brush. And I'm going to go ahead and pat this out. And as you guys can see, my face makeup is already done. I want it to be ready for you guys. All right, remember to keep that brush on hand. I just feel like going in with my Nikita Dragon brushes will be good for this video. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with these. So the first thing I'm going to go in with is Vineyard on my Nikita N2 brush. I don't know if you guys can see that on there. It's really pretty. There is some fallout to be expected. I'm going to put this right here. I'm going to pack the shade on and I'm going to wing her. I'm bring it in here and wing her out here. Be careful if you already have your face makeup on. Bring it all the way to the tail of that brow, just like so. Okay, so that's what that first shade is looking like. <clears throat> Now I'm going to go ahead and go on my Nikita in one brush. Now I'm going to go ahead and go into the shades in my back right here. This purple shade. Well, they're all purple, but you guys know what I mean. And I'm going to go ahead. Can you guys see that color? It's pretty. And I'm going to lay that really close. I don't want to go too high. I just want to be able to blend that color out. Then at this point, you can just start slightly blending with that brush. Just start blending upward to get those edges nice and blown out. All right, so I went ahead and cleaned that same in one brush off. And I'm going to go into the shade pour it up right here and put that on the edges of that and just blend a little bit more. We don't need much of that shade because it is kind of, it's still kind of close, but it's not as close. Mom? Yes? I wish I had TikTok. Why do you need TikTok? Because I want to I want to take my Nikita N4 brush. I'm going to go into this shade right here, Amora, I believe. This is a more fluffy brush. You can see that color on that. Uh, I want to dust that color off when I put it on there. And I want to blend. And just blend 
Boing, 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 boing. I want to go in with this shade right here, which is earthy. You want to take this shade closer to the brow and just pat it in there. It seems like it's working better when you. Sometimes when you pat the colors, they work out a little bit better than when you try to blend them. So just pat it, pat, pat it in there. I'm gonna go ahead and go on with, with my Vaseline. I'm gonna take my M124 brush and I'm gonna put that product on the brush as much as possible. Flatten the brush out too at the same time. And I want to cut. You need to cut it. You need to cut it. <laughs> You want to look on because I feel like it's already perfect where it is, but I want to make it a little bit more crisp. All right, then you let the Vaseline sit for it. Oh, I just want to leave it like this. You're supposed to latch something like. <laughs> All right, now I want to go ahead and take a clean makeup wipe. I put that Vaseline. I let it set for just a few seconds. That way, I can um get it off really easily and you're just gonna wipe it away take your time with it takes a little work it don't it's not as easy as what people make it seem like it does take a little work if you got your press on or your nails it actually works really good if that's not easy for you you can use a q-tip I want to show you guys with the q-tip also so give me one second all right you guys so that's what it should look like now i want to take a q-tip and make sure i got all the grease off to where it's really nice and dry all right you guys so that is what we have right there let's go ahead and go back into our p louise base or you can use the mitchell base and rumor zero three I'm going to use my, again, my M224 brush. And then at this point, you just go ahead and fill it in. That is so pretty, you guys. Like, I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye and I'll be right. All right, you guys, so this is lit. Like, this is so freaking pretty, you guys. Like, I don't even know what to say. It's pretty, though. So we're going to go ahead and go back into that M173 brush. Just get those edges. It's okay if it come down on your makeup. You can always go in and fix that. So just get those edges. And then kind of blend there too. Just kind of dab it. Don't get too close to that line up there. I'm thinking more like this one, but then this one's really cute too. But this one, I like this one because it don't have like that blue undertone. This one has like a blue undertone. Y'all see that highlight? It's purple. It's popping. Yes. Yes. I'm going to go ahead and go back into my Nikita Dragon Brush in the N2. And we're going to go back into Earthy. And we're going to place that all on the lid. I'm just going to start pressing that in. Pressing it right on in there, you guys. It's so buttery. I'm going to pat, pat this into that base. That's why it's a good thing that it's still a little tacky or wet. And I think I'll start trying like a, a eyeshadow primer first before I put these bases on. And maybe I won't get as many creases. And it's okay if you kind of mess up because we can go in and we can fix it. Everything with makeup can be fixed or removed and start over again. But I don't want to start over again. I don't. <laughs> Alright you guys, now we have that beautiful shade down. Like, oh my god, it's so, so, so pretty. You guys look at that snatched and cute. Alright, so I want to clean that brush off because I need it again. I'm going to take my Nikita N5 brush and this wine molette, that shade is calling me y'all. I'm going to go in with it. I'm going to use it. Fuck it. Look at that. Beautiful. I want to tap that off and I just want to blend right up in here. 
I want to just deepen that shade up right there. Oh my god. Why are these colors so beautiful? And bring it, wing it up. It's kind of like a curve type of thing. Just slightly, nothing heavy. Oh my god. <laughs> With this down. Oh. and just start blending that shade towards the middle ever so slightly all right you guys so that looks really good to me i'm going to take that same brush and i'm going to fine taste and i want to blend it right here that way that shade doesn't look so Lost. Yeah, I just wanted to bring it back out, and that way I can blend that shade. You know what I mean. I'm going to take that same Marlette shade and put it on my lower lash line. Again, you guys, be really careful. I just want to put it on the outer part. And bring it up into that outer corner. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm using the N2 brush. And then I want to go back into my in four brush and I want to just blend the corner right here. Just blend it out. Okay you guys so I'm gonna go ahead and take my concealer and I want to clean this area up. Or even um yeah the concealer. I want to clean this up you guys right here. Just like that. Okay, go back into your M173 brush. I know the video is probably long, you guys, but I really felt like playing in makeup. I really wanted to do something I like, honestly. But sometimes when I get up here, I try to do stuff that's easy for you guys and not do nothing that I really want to do. All right, now I'm going to go take the same Nikita N2 brush and go into Marlette with this, this one right here. And I'm going to put that more on the inner part of the eye. I don't know why I think I can see from far away. It's almost the same color. Now I'm going to go ahead and go back into hmm, this one here. The one I put on, is this the one I put on the lid? This is the one I put on. I'm going to put this one right here, which is earthy and tap that more into the inner corner and blend it back the other way all right you guys so at this point this is it i think it's so pretty i'm gonna go ahead and go off of camera pop on some lashes and come back and give you guys my final look and my final thoughts okay my pretty ladies and gentlemen i just went in with a black eyeliner in my waterline and then and in my inner corner, I went in with um, Fine Taste in my inner corner. If you guys can really see that. But yeah, and I just put on some simple lashes. And I went in with the lip cream. I went in with this lip cream. This is the Calming Circle. This is in the, the Witching Hour collection by ColourPop. Um, Hocus Pocus. And I went in with my Morphe Transitor um, lip liner. So yeah, that is the look, you guys. I hope you guys really, 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 really enjoyed this because I had so much fun. I had so much fun with this look, you guys. I really, really did. I think it's so beautiful. Look at that. I hope you guys really, really enjoyed this look. If you did enjoy this look, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. 
don't forget don't forget to subscribe do not forget about that giveaway get into it sis we almost had 700 subscribers thank you you guys are amazing okay now until next time bye